Hello everybody, and welcome to the 40 and Slip Bedtime Stories. Tonight, the shocking true story of spring Jack. In October of 1837, Mary Stevens, while on her way to Lavender Hill through Clapham Common, was attacked by a cloaked figure who first leapt at her, then while gripping her firmly to bar movement, sexually assaulted her and tore off her clothes. As the girl screamed in horror, the assailant fled from the scene and despite a thorough search, no trace of him was ever found. The very next day, spring Jack was seen in Mary's neighborhood, where he jumped before a coach, causing the coachman to lose control and meet with accident. He then gave out a horrific shriek of laughter and made his getaway by jumping over a nine-foot-high wall. In February of 1838, Jack assaulted two more young women. The first was Jane Alsop who was in her father's house on the night of the 19th of February, when there was a knock at the door and a voice called claiming to be a policeman, asking to bring a light as he had caught spring Jack in the lane. As she opened the door, she saw a cloaked figure waiting there. On handing over the candle to him, the man suddenly threw off his cloak, revealing a most hideous and frightful appearance. With fiery eyes, he vomited blue and white flames onto Jane's face, and then tore off her gown and inflicted bloody scratches on her neck and arms with his ice-cold metallic claws. But Jane's sister appeared and Jack fled. Again on the 28th of February, Lucy Scales, 18, was returning with her sister from their brother's house in Limehouse. As they were passing the Green Dragon Alley, Lucy came across a man in a large cloak who unexpectedly spurted out some blue flame onto her face, disabling her sight and triggering violent fits which continued for hours. 